What up, geeklings? It's uh, March 16th, and uh, yeah, a lot, of, a lot has been going on in the world of geek as of late, which is awesome, because there's a lot to talk about. So let's get started. And yes, this is my real hair. Mortal Kombat 10 showed us where Johnny Cage has been the past 25 years in the latest MK trailer. Well, it seems he was married to Sonya and is also a dad. But in a standard egotistical Johnny style, Sonya and Johnny are now divorced. Uh, no surprise there. Uh, my bet is that Johnny will save Sonya at some point in the game and then have some real hot and dirty sex. In addition, we also found out that on Friday the 13th, they added a new character to the roster. Jason Voorhees, the king of hack and slash films. Now this would be great if they also brought back Freddy, because otherwise I don't see Jason being able to keep up with the speed of the other players. Don't have lipstick in my teeth. The week before last, we saw Chris Pratt and Chris Evans visiting children's hospitals dressed as their Marvel characters, which was, oh my god, adorable. So uh, uh, I guess Robert Downey Jr. felt a little left out, so he decided to present a very lucky seven-year-old boy with a prosthetic arm. And I'm not just talking about any prosthetic arm, you guys. It was modeled <laughs> after the Iron Man arm. <laughs> He might just be the next Finn the Human. Daredevil showed us that it might just be another reason to keep your Netflix account active. Or you can pull Rich's move and uh, continually make up new emails so that you can get that one month free. And it really makes me wish that they could have showed Gotham how to really be a TV show. My other question is, does anybody know what this show will be rated? Because if it can get like an HBO rating, then it will really open up doors for comic book TV shows. Like Constantine, for example, is a great show, but if it was allowed to go all dark, then it would be an instant hint, rather than just some cute blonde with a great accent. Last week was so hot right now as Hansel and Derek Zoolander appeared on the Valentino runway to announce Zoolander 2. I have to say, that is a really clever way to announce something like that. In this day and age, we're just used to logging onto Facebook and seeing our walls flooded with breaking news where a studio announces, we just cast this schmuck to play this schmuck. This was a fresh way to do something so simple. And even though I have no fucking idea what this movie will be about, I am fucking excited because just like how I'm always quoting Kung Pao, I am always quoting Zoolander. Okay, well so much shit has happened this week and not enough time to cover it all, so what shall it be? Let's turn to this magical Wheel of Fortune type thing and, and it will determine the fate of our final discussion point. Okay, <laughs> Tim Burton makes Dumbo it is. Tim, do me a favor, huh? Uh, don't do what you always do. Don't use nothing but grayscale or winding staircases or use your two favorite actors. Take a chance. You were famous for taking chances. Till we realize that you have now found your comfort zone and refuse to leave it, but you can do it! So let us know what you think of the news. Do you think Tim Burton should go into a dark corner of the world and stop directing? I mean, I hope. He doesn't. Do you think Zoolander 2 will be so hot right now, or do you think it's more along the lines of Boolander? Daredevil on Netflix! Are you excited like us? Or do you not wish to see the blind hero? You see what I did there? Do you want to see Freddy return to the MK video game just so we can have Jason vs. Freddy? Let us know in the comments below. Also, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and it's really the only way to help the show continually grow and you know, I t uh, one of us has to grow, it ain't gonna be me. I'm gonna stay five feet for the rest of my life. Actually, no. I'm probably gonna get shorter. Like, Sophia Petrillo status. Also, there's another way you guys can support, which is Rockin' and Aggressive Comics or Geekgasm Tea on tpublic.com. Link is in the description below. Also, be sure to visit aggressivecomics.com for all the latest and greatest in geeky news. And until next time, Stay geeky, my friends. Um, uh, yes, this is my real hair. You guys have seen it.
I, I post photos of myself with my real hair. If I wore my wigs 24-7, I would be really pissed all the time because that shit hurts and itches. Um, but, you know, I, I got locked out of my apartment this morning with my dog. Sorry, Delilah. Um, it was hot. And I was like, you know what? I don't feel like putting on a wig today.